Hey sports fans, ASMR Sports here. Um, I'm kind of excited about this one, and um, that's kind of maybe a surprise <laughs> if you're a baseball collector. Um, got a Swedish fish there. Might eat that guy. A couple of his friends, but we'll see. Um, so this is 2020 Donruss Baseball, and you know, all Panini Baseball products are kind of... Uh, I don't know, not, you know, they're nothing to be excited about because the lack of logos means a lack of uh, a hobby love and therefore low prices on pretty much anything you'd pull out of your, um, you know, maybe if you pull an autographed trout, you might get a hundred bucks for it. Whereas in any Topps product, an autographed trout is going to be at least $300. Anyways, um, so, you know, it's funny, every year... <laughs> Uh, Don Russ baseball comes out in kind of this time of year, like, you know, in sort of early March. Um, there's really not a lot of stuff coming out. Like, there's been a few Tops products that have been come out, but everybody's kind of waiting on Bowman to come out. And, um, you know, there's just not a lot of baseball out yet. Um, so Don Russ is usually, is always released in the sort of beginning part of the year when there's not a lot of other stuff out and everybody's waiting on a lot of stuff that comes out in April so you know it's kind of um, something that uh, I don't know that fills the void um, if you will and um, you know there's three autographs or memorabilia cards and usually that means I think two autographs you'd get and one memorabilia card um, I feel like it used to be three autographs but I'm, I can't remember I might be wrong so anyways, every year when this comes out, I, um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm tempted to open some, uh, even though, like, after a few boxes, I'm just like, why did I do that? I just, you know, <laughs> I just, it's, I have a pile of crap now, and, uh, you know, it's got no value, but I don't know, I still, I'm, I'm kind of excited about opening this year, and I'll tell you why, because every year, um... Don Russ kind of does what Topps does, which is they have like a subset of cards um, in the product that um, is a throwback of a prior year's design. So like Topps, Don Russ goes in order. And so um, a couple of years ago, they were like doing 84 Don Russ designs. And I don't know, I don't really like that design. Um, and then last year they did 85 Donruss design, and that's okay. I, I don't mind that, but in this year they'll be doing, they're doing 86 Donruss design, and I really kind of love that design because that's sort of um, the 86 Donruss set um, came out, well, basically when I collected, which was about 80, like 7 or 88 through, you know, the early 90s. Um, 86 Don Russ set was like about the hottest thing on earth because of uh, Jose Canseco and a bunch of other rookies that were in there. So I sort of fell in love with that 86 Don Russ design. I really, um, I really enjoy it. And so um, to have some some cards of modern players in that 86 Don Russ design, I think is really exciting. And I actually have thought maybe I would try to collect that set. Um, I don't really do sets of any kind, any set building really at all, um, but that one I might, I might have to do. I also will say that, uh, you know, so Tops, interestingly, they're, they're about a year off in the year that they are doing for their throwback subset design. So in 2020 Tops this year, they're doing 1985 Tops design and next year, they're going to do 86 tops design in their subsets. And um, assuming I'm not dead from the coronavirus, uh, I think that I might do that 86 um, tops throwback set because that's another set that I really am fond of and bought a lot of when I was a kid. And so I really just kind of, it's very nostalgic for me. So I'd love to see all those cards. So the 2020 
design itself. I find to be kind of crappy. I'm not a fan. Alright, so now we're gonna get. Actually, I'm gonna pull this one card out. Isan Diaz, Raid Rookie. So the rest of the cards in this pack are all the 86 Don Rust design. I'm trying to think if I can uh, find something. Let's see here. Oh, I just happen to have a box of cards next to me. Six Donruss cards that I can show you some originals. But I might be wrong. Bear with me. I put these down. Ah, yes, here we go.
wheel, Brendan McCain. And here's our base Tonra's throwbacks. Nice weed box. Mitchell, man. <laughs> That's a throwback. There was 
a couple couple three years period where Kevin Mitchell was like freaking super hot in the hobby in like 50 home runs a year everybody wanted his cards seen um, any of these Donruss uh, 86 designs with the Raider Rookie and that's that kind of sucks because that's like the coolest thing ever is the 86 design with the Raider Rookie you know just like that uh, classic um, Conseco so yeah it looks like they just didn't do Raider Rookies in that 86 sign which really sucks um, I guess they only want to use the Ridge Rookie logo on the you know, current year's designs. So, I mean, I can understand the logic of that, but I am disappointed that that's what is the case because oh, that's numbered to 500 Nelson Cruz. These are kind of growing on me. That's my cat uh, moaning in the background, by the way. She's just uh, hanging out here. Making weird noises. Alrighty. Jonathan Hernandez. Christian Yelich. That's interesting. So we got the Anthony Gwynn, and now this is a. Uh,
last video, I opened a box of select basketball and got probably like the best box of basketball I've ever gotten in my life. Especially if you like uh, John Morant. So if you didn't see that, go go watch it. And then maybe like, I don't know, pause this because I'm about to talk about what I got in it. But I, I really didn't know what the value of some of that stuff that I got out of there was. But I looked it up and it's like even crazier than I thought it was. So that um, John Morant like base autograph is selling for 800 bucks on eBay. And then the white um, prism parallel John Morant again is going for like 250 bucks, I think. No, no, it's going for like $400. It's numbered to 125, I think. So that's insane. And I didn't even look at like the values of some of those other things like a base jaw um, Morant rookie, which I also got um, probably worth like 30 bucks at least. So, I mean, I got like whatever, like $1,300 just in John Morant cards. Um, so that was completely insane, you know, and then that Zion base rookie I'm sure is worth 40 or $50 at least. So yeah, that's, that boy, that's one for the ages. If you're a basketball fan, you definitely want to go check that one out, that video. Let's see all the stuff. I got some cool, uh, that's cool. Fernando would take that up. I got some, um, cool, uh, like LeBron parallels in there. And yeah, just crazy, crazy, crazy. That makes me think that if, um, if the sports card market like completely tanks because of the economy and the virus and its effect on the economy. Boy, I didn't notice that card got like completely rocked. I'll throw that in the garbage. Um, yeah, so I, I've been starting to think about like what I'll do if, uh, you know, the says if everything goes down and then, you know, I, at least theoretically, I think I'd want to buy some stuff and hold it for a few years, if need be, um, before it goes back up, but some of that 2019-20, uh, Select is definitely on my list. I bought that box that I opened for 425 bucks, I think. Although then I looked online and they're selling for 475, so I got a good deal even on that box. But you know, last year when I bought my um, first box of that stuff that I got, that really sweet, um, it was a, a quartzite tie-dye parallel of um, Luca. Um, that box, I think I paid like. Probably like 200 bucks or something, maybe even less. No, it was probably 200 bucks for that box. So, like, I consider that to be, you know, a reasonable price for uh, a box of select. And right now they're 450 bucks, something like that. So, I feel like if the economy really dies and you know, values of cards and everything go down, then I feel like those boxes of select will go down to 200 bucks, maybe. And if they do, I might have to snatch up a bunch and just hang tight and hope everything rebounds eventually, and then those will be a real nice, you know, product to have is a lot of the rookie class. Um, you know, starts to turn into, you know, superstars, as I think a lot of people believe will happen, in addition to, like, the big guys, John Morant and Zion, I think there's a lot of guys that are in that, um, 2019-20, you know, draft, or the, the draft classes in those products, um, 
I think a lot of people think there's going to be a bunch of stars coming out of there in the, in the coming years. So that's why I'm sort of bullish long term on a lot of that stuff, even if the prices um, go down significantly in the near term. All right, well, enough of me babbling. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we got lots more stuff. I've got, um, just as a preview, I've got, uh, I'll put some cards here so you can <laughs> just look at them while I'm babbling. Um, coming up, I've got some kind of cool um, repacked product, you know, like products where um, a company buys cards um, and like then repacks them. And these are like graded cards, I think. Um, yeah, I think both the things I have are, are graded cards. Um, that are sort of like higher end um, baseball things. Um, so I'll be doing some of those, and I'm kind of excited to see what what is in those. Um, and I have I don't know I got lots of stuff always to to get into. So who knows what will be next? All right. Well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll catch you all later. Stay safe out there, and uh, have a great.